right, guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. It looks like we have a pretty big traffic jam uh, set up here, so hopefully everyone can get out. <laughs> um, I'm not sure where all these people are actually going. That guy's trying to go that way. He's going in there. Not sure if that's going to be a problem or not. Um, we might need to redesign the airport strip, I think, if that's going to be an issue, because at the moment, whether basically doing is they need to go this way through all this area in order so if they're basically waiting for somebody to get out of the area then that's going to be a problem but uh, we'll see how it turns out in a little bit that's a pretty big plane that's carrying 50 it's carrying 50 okay that's the same size I guess uh, there's big ones which uh, carry 200 people which is more than ferries so I stand corrected um, Cruise ships are not as good as planes because planes actually can go a little bit higher. And there's still a larger plane that can support even more people, which I have no idea how that's going to even work on this runway. But um, we'll figure that out in the future. We have more room over here if we need to expand. So today what we had to do is I have this uh, facility here. And basically what it is is a waste transfer plant and I think what we're going to do because we have the transportation over on this side for the ferry system or the harbor and stuff we're going to put a um, port over on this side um, can't really do it way up here or anything like that so we're going to need to do it over on this side regardless so we're gonna to have to put our industry area over on this side I think so with that being said, it's going to be dirty anyways. So what we're going to need to do is put our garbage facilities over here as well. So we can put that over by the shore or somewhere over in this area. And then we should have a um, reasonable amount of distance away from any population. I think that will be probably the best. So if we put it somewhere over here, that would be good. And then we can have a little bit more cleaner areas for pick garbage pickup. At least that's the plan. <laughs> so let's go ahead and find a way to get over into this area. I don't want it too congested, so we'll probably bring it off of this area here. And just start with like a single road. That should do fine. And let's see here. We'll probably want to go down a bit. Actually, we should probably put that port in. Uh
So I got the port kind of the port area set up. So we have all this uh, ready for building and construction. Uh, we just need to get some roads set up here and we'll see if we can't build that right now. So I wanted to bring that along here. And we'll bring that up to this point. We'll kind of bring it down that way. And I want to connect this up to here, but I don't want it to like look a little weird, right? So I'll have to kind of bend it a little bit. All right, so that will do good for that. Um, and then we have this area over here for basically the, the industry and stuff. So what we'll do is we'll bring that along here probably up to that point and I'm gonna want our garbage area over in this area as well right so I'll bring that up to there and I'm not sure how big it is actually uh, we might need to figure out where we're gonna be putting all that actually so uh, and this is gonna bottleneck a little bit uh, for the amount of people coming in and out so we might want to have a direct line up to the highway instead. Uh, that would probably be a better thing. Just to get on and off. Uh, we might be able to... Yeah, because this will go into the city, right? So we can have one kind of pull around, go that direction. And this one can pull around this way. I think that would work fine. So we'll need a connection for that. For here, hopefully. And we'll create a simple off ramp. And then we'll go under. Or we could go over as well. See if we can't go over the highway, maybe. So that should be good for the connection part, at least. Um, if people need to get on and off, then they can easily just go.
turning day. I did work on the port a little bit. Uh, I got a rail port in, so it kind of goes up this way. This will be on our local line, so it won't be connected to an outside connection. I think that would be probably the best uh, route to do. Uh, this way that we can hook it up to a um, the airport or wherever we need it. And um, basically it can be a central line to export uh, goods to the uh, the port station here and then it can be directly exported. Uh, we do have that other line that goes over to here. I'm not going to connect that up just yet to anything. Um, we could even turn this into a um, direct line, I guess, for that. I'm not sure entirely what I want to do with that line just yet. Uh, I would have to kind of pay attention to that. But uh, I did say that we were going to work on this area a little bit more and um, zone in specific areas for the uh, thing like very select uh, residential, stuff like that. We don't have a high residential demand at the moment. But uh, we do, we, we, we could get away with uh, building a few different buildings and stuff like that. So I want to actually zone out um, just a proper amount. I don't know if this is covered for medical, fire, or police. It's pretty covered uh, from this area over here. So we should probably be fine for that. Uh, transportation, we don't have anything just yet outside of that one subway system. So um, we can start zoning in maybe a house or two, some businesses. We'll maybe put some businesses over here. Um, start with like maybe a couple of them like that along here. We can put some trees and stuff between. Actually, let's unzone that part and we'll just um, allow them to build in this area. That, we, that way we can build some trees around as well. Then we can put maybe something over here um small park or something maybe a hotel hotel would probably do really good there and let's see here what kind of area is this did i zone this differently maybe yeah i did so we can specify what we want in this general area as well and some extra additional policies so let's go to city planning and then we'll ban high rises and we'll get um the zone, the industry uh, in area set up for this particular zone. So I need to figure out where ban high rises. So this should limit high rises for this area. And we can also.
So I planned it out a little bit and I put some parks in. So we have a tourist park over here and got a playground with a parking lot over on this side. And then there's a few other parking lots mixed in within the, this area just for extra parking. So uh, people can get to their locations a little bit easier and stuff. So. Um, I put a lot of trees down and it, it does look really good with uh, the extra trees just kind of between the buildings and stuff and it looks really nice with how it's set up. I went with a European theme for this one just because there is red roofs with this little medieval village street thing so I thought that would look really good with that. Um, it is an IT cluster so um, there's going to be a really low um, pollution for the industry areas so that's kind of the purpose why they're uh, a little bit of industry buildings along here and then we have the solar panel which just seems f properly fitted for the IT cluster so and then we got the dis disaster response and our other two um, power stations over on this side so outside of that um, we did get that port functional. We didn't really get the rail part set up, but uh, there was a demand for sewage, so I put one of those down in this area as well, uh, just to kind of get that part um, set up. And um, a lot of people are actually coming here to export their goods, so it's perfect. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.